not just a word, righteousness. The meaning behind this series actually has two parts to it. I started the series because I wanted to talk uh, more in depth about words that kept me from reading the Bible that I felt were very intimidating. And the not just a word part is actually uh, influenced and inspired by my son because he thinks differently than I do. Um, and one of the things that he feels is words are just words. And in my eyes, words are not words. Uh, it's not just a word when you say it. Words actually have power. So today's word uh, is righteousness. The definition of righteousness is the quality of being morally right or justifiable. Now I'm going to read a verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. It says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. I used to think that I had to be righteous on my own, which is why that word was very intimidating for me when I first started to read the Bible. That is impossible for me to do, to be righteous on my own. God knew it, and that's why he sent his son, because he loves us, and he wants us to love us. We are who he created, and that is why he wants us to love us. Prior to seeing that scripture the way that I do now, I did not like myself, nor did I love myself, because I was always on that hamster wheel trying to be righteous on my own, always falling short because that was just something that could not be done. So that's why I put in there that he wants us to love us because he created us. And if we don't have a good relationship with ourselves, we're not going to have a good relationship with anybody else. Righteousness is right standing with God. It's not a freedom to sin because we are actually held accountable to a higher level. A good example of that would be uh, an inward conviction that I used to get. And sometimes I get when I even think about watching certain shows um, on television that I know those type of shows don't promote what God has for my life. My encouraging scripture is going to be in Romans chapter 3 verses 23 to 24. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. <laughs>